Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to take ownership permissions of registry keys in Windows computers. So hopefully it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to obviously have to do is open up the registry key that you're looking to take ownership of. So I'm just going to open up the start menu, just type in regedit. You guys should already be at this point, so just going to catch up here. When you open up the registry, you want to just make sure you right click on it and then run as administrator. When you, you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. So now you just want to go expand the tree to whichever key you're looking to gain access to. So for whatever reason you're having a problem with a certain key, just expand everything. And let's just say it's this particular one. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and then left click on permissions. Left click on administrators and then proceed to left click on advanced. If you see owner says system, you want to left click on the change next to it. Now you want to enter in your username here. So mine is just mdtech and left click on check names. There we go, it's confirmed that through there. Now that you have done that, go ahead and left click on OK. Now you want to check mark where it says replace owner on subcontainers and objects and then left click on apply and then OK. And once you're done with that, I would go ahead and see if you're having issues with it anymore. If you're still not, you can go ahead and go through users here. So if you're the only user on your computer or you trust everybody on here, you can just go in underneath full control and allow for those users and just go through the list. I mean, if you're really the only person using it, I'm just going to put that out there. Maybe we consider against all application packages, but for system and users perhaps it really depends I mean it, I I personally would not do that unless you had to but if you're still having problems you can just try checking in and seeing if that makes a difference so then go ahead and left click on apply and okay once you're done and that should pretty much be about it so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye